Yeah, the first thing I want to say before I forget, um, we are an AIM listed company, uh, so you can trade us on AIM, buy shares, you can put them on your ISA. Uh, we're not raising finance, we're a well-funded company. Last year I raised uh, 20 million pounds from, from big institutions. Um, I'm here to, to just create awareness um, about the company. I want to explain what we do to the retail investor, which is something we haven't done in the past. Um, so Oxford Pharma Science is a company that redevelops existing, approved, off-patent drugs to make them better, safer, easier to take. We do that by applying two drug delivery platforms. Our main program, the one I'm going to talk to you about today, is the application of uh, one of our platforms to redevelop the NSAIDs, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. These are um, drugs like aspirin, naproxen, ibuprofen. The second platform, um, OXP Target, is being applied to initially to statins. This was a strategic choice for us some time ago. We decided to focus on uh, off-patent approved drugs simply because they offer, you know, th this type of work offers uh, simpler, less risky, uh, quicker routes to market uh, for us. Now, I want to clarify, we don't market drugs ourselves. You know, we develop the technology, we get the clinical data, we develop the documentation, we license that out to pharmaceutical companies that have big strategic interest in these drug categories. So we're not a company that commercializes drugs, we, we commercialize the dossier, the technology, the intellectual property package. Today I'm going to talk to you about the NSAID, um, the lead program in our pipeline. Um, three key things I'm going to leave you with, and I'm going to go through this in more detail, but NSAIDs, the most commonly used drugs in the world. We all know aspirin is the, possibly the oldest drug, it's been off patent for 100 years. Um, the second generation ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, invented in the 60s, off patent since the mid 80s. Um, ibuprofen was invented by one of my ex-employers, the Boots Company, um, here in Nottingham. Um, what we've demonstrated in the last couple of years by running a number of clinical trials is that our redeveloped NSAIDs offer a range of key benefits, um, and I'll uh, tell you about those. But in essence, they enable competitive advantage to whoever has big NSAID brands in the market today. And it's all proprietary, well protected by several layers of intellectual property. Now, NSAIDs, as I will explain, are a significant market. So it's a $12 billion addressable market, um, but distinct in that not only it's a prescription market, but also significantly it's an over-the-counter market. You know, you can find about almost near now, almost half of that market has gone over the counter, which means you can buy it without a prescription from a drugstore, from a pharmacy, in the UK, uh, from a supermarket. I announced earlier this year that two of my assets uh, had left the clinic and we were entering the commercial stage. And that, uh, I'll explain you what that means and where I'm uh, with those, but this is hugely exciting for us because um, we're well funded. Um, you know, I raised 20 million pounds last year, but I'm actually not in the clinic this year with anything because I don't need to. Um, and that, you know, is a position of strength. You know, when you're a small company and you go and work and talk to the big pharma company, um, you want to do that from a position of strength. That's exactly where we are now. The market, you know, it's a very interesting market. As I said, large, you know, so this slide's trying to say it's large, $12 billion. But something else to note is that there's four molecules here, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, and aspirin. Uh, they account for 80% of the market. We've actually, we're actually focusing on these four. Um, these two are already in the commercial stage. I've jumped this one to actually focus on that one. Reason being is that these three are anti-inflammatories, you know, uh, fever, uh, inflammation, pain. Aspirin, around the world, no longer used as an anti-inflammatory, except in a couple of markets. It's unique in its cardiovascular properties. It's used as a cardiovascular agent, antiplatelet, at, at, at low dose. The one thing to say about this slide is that this picture may change a bit in terms of, you know, the, the, the penetration of each one of these molecules, but it's here to stay. You know, aspirin's been around for 100 years. 100 years from now, we're still going to be taking aspirin, and we're still going to be taking ibuprofen and naproxen, certainly. Diclofenac, I'm not too sure. That's why I'm not uh, doing much with diclofenac at the moment. And the reason is because its heart risk um, has been proven to be higher than what clinicians are happy with, and it's been discontinued from the over-the-counter market. 
you know, so slowly coming out. The problem in this market, actually, like all drugs, um, NSAIDs will have side effects. The main side effect is gastric irritation. You know, if you take an NSAID uh, over a long period of time at a high dose, it will give you an ulcer or a gastric bleed. Um, it's a clinical problem, not the only problem, but the main problem. It also is associated with heart risk, except for aspirin, right? The commercial problem is lack of differentiation. You know, if you're a brand, if you're a brand, Nurofen, biggest ibuprofen brand in this part of the world, cannot say that it's better than Advil. Exact same product. This is Nurofen for children, suspension, Advil for children, suspension. You cannot claim superiority. You cannot make a, a, differentiation, a differentiated claim. And that's a real problem, because these are consumer brands, and you need to be better than whoever's sitting next to you on the shelf. Importantly, under this, you have generics, products that are selling at lower price, and you cannot say you're better than generic. Ibuprofen is ibuprofen. So lack of differentiation is a big problem for the big pharma um, consumer health brands. Ibuprofen in particular, or the NSAIDs, are associated with this GI irritation. Paracetamol is perceived as milder in the GI tract. Paracetamol also doesn't burn, doesn't irritate. That irritation in your stomach means irritation in your mouth. Paracetamol you can formulate into a liquid, you know, calpol. You can formulate into a hot drink, Lemsip. Those are the dominant products in the cough and cold category, which is really, really significant. Ibuprofen is a better product for cough and cold, deals with fever, lasts for longer, but you cannot formulate a Lemsip type product. You cannot formulate a calpol type product at high dose because it burns. You know, those are big problems for the brand owners. The solution is the OXP0 platform. So we basically demonstrated through uh, three clinical trials that we can deliver a range of benefits. So we've shown a reduction in the GI mucosal damage. Our NSAIDs are milder. Um, very importantly, we significantly taste mask, you know, the irritation, the burn, the bitterness of these NSAIDs. Um, which means they can be formulated into many different new forms um, that are um, not able, you know, the formulator cannot take them there now. And we've also shown that we can adapt or, or tune the release properties. We can make them work faster or work slower. OXPN says it's a platform that allows brand owners, global brand owners, to develop multiple product applications. Not one product, not two products. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 products. We're delivering to these brand owners the pipeline for the next generation of their brand for the next five years, 10 years, 15 years. And in doing that, enabling growth, breakthrough growth, and significant value creation for the major brands in the world. Importantly, the science is well protected, as I mentioned. You know, there's intellectual property coming from various places. It all started in Oxford but we've gone beyond Oxford, so we work with UCL, we work with the University of Queensland in Australia, and we've developed a lot of IP also in-house. Still working with these lead academics um, in these various places. Very importantly, it's a very scalable, cost-effective process. So we're basically, you know, ibuprofen is a white powder, we're making a new white powder, similar kit, similar type of, there's a lot of tricks and a lot of subtlety, but it's not, a weird new technology. It's, it's just a different salt of the NSAID. Yeah. Now, why is this important? Is this thing about competitive advantage, you know? So we were presenting, you know, I'm going out basically talking to the biggest brands in the world and basically saying, look, this is your growth opportunity. And there's some low-hanging fruit, you know, projects, products that you could put in market fairly quickly, uh, simply leveraging the taste masking benefits of the technology. There are some mid-term opportunities leveraging the tunability and adaptability, and then there's potentially this GI claim that could totally differentiate your brand. What it all means is that a brand can basically grow uh, and differentiate, but also defend against generics. So bottom line, um, I announced this year, I've gone out with these two assets, OXP0 and OXP and Aproxen Ibuprofen, uh, commercially. Transaction advisors have been engaged. I've gone out and talked to the top companies in the world with interest in the NSAIDs. I announced yesterday that I have uh, a strong traction from the key players. Um, and by that I mean they're looking at the asset, they've uh, seen what it can do, they're very interested. 
This week also I announced that we had very positive and clear feedback from the regulator here in the UK, the MHRA, basically saying, look, yeah, we're happy to classify this as a new salt of the NSAID, not as a new drug, not as a combination product, which greatly simplifies the regulatory pathway, which is very important because it means they can go to market quickly. Um, we're well funded, as I said, that allows me to negotiate and commercialize from strength, but also it allows me to progress my pipeline, which is currently focused on cardiovascular, um, um, basically aspirin and statins. And that's, uh, in essence, the company. Um, this presentation will be, uh, it's, it's on the website now, so you can get it from there. There's some uh, extra slides that you can, may go through, like our financials management and a case study specifically on ibuprofen. Thank you very much.